Hi, I'm Dr. Simon Fry, the consultant in clinical neurophysiology. In this video, we're going to follow on from the cutaneous silent periods with key points on there, and I'm going to show you how we perform these and how we set the machine up properly to do this. Now, there is a downside to this, and I'll say this straight out, in that there are two silent periods for the masseter inhibitory reflex, as opposed to the single one for the cutaneous silent periods. And because of this, um, we can only put markers down, which will go into the report directly, um, for one of these silent periods. So um, you will have to sort of flip between the program and the report to put in the uh, time latencies for at least the second uh, silent period. It's a very useful technique, and I'm going to show you an example of how we do this right now. So thank you very much to Wen, my colleague, for volunteering for this. So I'm going to put some stickers over the masseter. So if you just clench your teeth for me. There we go. So it's right on top of the belly there. And tendons like so. And we're going to use a very small stimulator here, baby size one. And we're going to stimulate the mental nerve um, over here like so. And I'm just going to ask Wing to clench his teeth. Clench your teeth really hard, hard as you can. And uh, we're going to uh, now increase the stimuli. Hope that's okay, is that alright? Mm -hmm. And just wrap it up a little bit. Really clench, really hard. Really hard. And really hard. Okay, thank you very much. I'm now going to show you how we set this up on the DanTechKeyPoint.net system. So we'll go down to Options and we go to our applications. So that's my one. We're now going to go to test template design and over here we're going to go to H reflex. We'll just find that over there. Now you can already see that I've done this already, but I'm just going to duplicate this to show you how we do all of this. So H reflex and we'll duplicate that. Double click and we're going to change the name here to master inhibitory reflex and we're going to just put two there because I've already set this one up. And what I'm going to do on the anatomy set now is just remove the medianus and we're going to just change the name to, to trigeminal. And then we'll go into the settings. So the nerve here is trigeminal, mentalis, stimulating position. So I've already written in here mental foramen, but uh, you can always click on edit and you can click on the style there to add a new stimulating position. So let's just go there, mental foramen. Let's go to the recording position here, masseter. Similarly, if you haven't got that set up already, just click on that, hit the star for new entry, type that in and hit the return key. So let's put masseter in. And let's now go to the signal definition. Our sweep speed for this is gonna be 20 milliseconds per division. For our sensitivity, we can uh, keep this uh, as it is for the moment, our filter. We're gonna just switch that up a little bit to 50 hertz and bring that down to two kilohertz, which is the apparent optimal settings for this test. We are gonna keep the H stim as a trigger, of course. The delay is gonna be different. And uh, let's just call that um, minus 80. The recording length will switch to 200 milliseconds. And we can also go over here to the negative amplitude, just take that out from the unlock side of things. If you're not happy with the sensitivity, that can vary um, with individuals, you can change that up if you prefer to, uh, let's say one millivolt per division as well. Um, now the stimulators is important for this. Um, we don't wanna have a long duration. Um, and so I'm not sure we can actually change that on here directly. You can definitely do that within the test itself. So we'll have to just do that in the test itself and just Click out, okay. So that's that done now. So on the menu design, we have to go over here and under reflexes, you can already see my MIR already there, but we're gonna go test template and we're gonna put in MIR2 and we'll click okay. So that's in there now. The final thing we're going to do is gonna make sure that everything is copied through into the report. And so we're gonna to go to system and from system, we're gonna hit report 
and select our standard report that we wish to amend. Now, down over here, you can see I've already done this, um, but hey ho, let's just uh, do it again. So add report element, let's go to H data and curves, add that in as follows by clicking to the right and it's at the bottom of the page there. Let's just delete this and put MIR as follows and we're gonna edit like so. Now they're gonna be um, in effect six boxes which have to be filled. So let's just tidy this up a little bit. So we can delete, delete. I'm gonna add child, add child, add child, add child. And now we're gonna put over here SP1 onset. S P one offset S P one. Now we're going to type in S P two onset S P two offset S P two. And over here we'll type milliseconds. Select that, control V, and then we're going to put in our M takeoff latency, our H takeoff latency, go down a bit, and then our HM latency there, okay, and you know, for the SPT, you just have to type that in manually and just click OK. And, you know, that's it. That's job done.